Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're delving into Microsoft. Our initial report was released on our website on Wednesday, April 24th, 2024, and now we're here to offer you a more in-depth analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of any developments that could affect your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly introduced AI stock analysis tool powered by gpt4 at stockinvest.us access ai's capabilities and receive free price forecasts and comprehensive analyses for any of the 25,000 companies globally today please remember that this video is solely for informational purposes and should not be construed as financial advice since april 22, 2024 our system has rated microsoft as a hold accumulate with a score of 0.99. Now let's delve into the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has shown natural fluctuations, resulting in a gain of 2.02%. Therefore, on average, Microsoft has delivered a daily return of 0.67% since being designated as hold accumulate. The stock is currently in a weak rising trend in the short term, indicating a potential further increase within this trend. Over the next three months, the stock may experience a 2.90% change, with a possible return ranging from 0.544% to 9.14% based on the current trend. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, there is a projected 37.18% change, suggesting a potential return between 27.42% and 47.66%. This could result in a price range of $521.22604.02 after a year. Our latest daily update from Microsoft reveals that on Wednesday, the stock saw a positive trend, gaining 0.366%. Microsoft's stock price rose from $457 to $409.06 on the last trading day. This marks the third consecutive day of gains. It will be interesting to observe if this positive momentum continues or if there is a temporary pause in the coming days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $406.78 and a high of $412.46, showing a 1.4% variation. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 3.35% loss in the stock price. The trading volume decreased by 703,000 shares on the last day, with a total of 14 million shares exchanged, equivalent to approximately $5.84 billion. It's important to note that a decrease in volume at higher prices may signal potential changes in the near future. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached $430.82, while the lowest was $292.74. Currently, the stock is trading 5.05%, or $21.76 below the 52-week high, which also stands as the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings on Monday, April 22, 2024, UBS downgraded MSFT to neutral. On Monday, April 22, 2024, Piper Sandler upgraded MSFT to overweight. On Friday, April 19, 2024, Cowan & Co. rated MSFT as a buy. On Thursday, April 18, 2024, Bank of America Securities rated MSFT as a buy. On Thursday, April 18, 2024, Citigroup rated MSFT as a buy. Analysts have rated Microsoft stock as a strong buy, highlighting the P.E. ratio and price to book also as strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the stock receives a strong buy rating from analysts. The signals for Microsoft stock are quite mixed today. The short-term moving average suggests a buy signal, but the long-term average indicates a sell signal. With the long-term average currently above the short-term average, a general sell signal is in place, forecasting a more negative outlook for the stock. Resistance is expected at $470.07, while support can be found at $406.77. A break through the long-term average would signal a buy, while a drop below the short-term average would strengthen the sell signal. Additionally, a sell signal is present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Despite a recent rise of 2.49% from a pivot bottom point, volume fell, creating a potential divergence between volume and price. This discrepancy should be monitored closely as it may signal a future trend reversal. 
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence. Sell signal pivots buy signal four days ago. Bollinger buy signal three days ago. Short term moving average buy signal three days ago. Long term moving average sell signal nine days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages buy signal six days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average sell signal 10 days ago. The long term moving average sell signal five days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages buy signal 120 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Microsoft. Microsoft currently finds support at $403.78, where accumulated volume suggests a potential buying opportunity. When this support level is tested, an upward reaction is likely. This stock typically experiences consistent trading volume, resulting in minimal daily fluctuations and low risk. In the last trading day, the stock had a price range of 5.68 sets, 1.40%, between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock's average daily volatility has been 1.67%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Microsoft, let's review some key fundamental data. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is a critical metric that compares a company's current share price to its per share earnings. This P.E. ratio falls within the norm for established businesses with consistent revenue streams. The upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $0.281, cents, and these figures can significantly influence stock prices. Let's now explore potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft stands at $430.64. If you're not holding any shares, consider waiting for this level to break before entering a position. For existing stockholders, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the downside, Microsoft faces its initial support level at $403.78. Should this support hold, it might serve as a favorable entry point with a potential rebound in mind. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Now let's delve into some recent insider trades. On 22.4-15, Jala Alice L. conducted an insider sell of 177,469 shares of common stock. On 2024-314, Rodriguez Carlos A. conducted an insider buy of 514 shares of restricted stock units. On 2024-0314, Pritzker Penny S. conducted an insider buy of 21,261 shares of restricted stock units. On 2024-314, Peterson Sandra E. conducted an insider buy of 41,396 shares of restricted stock units. On 2024-314, McGregor Catherine conducted an insider buy of 399 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of 9 is 35.489. Overall, insiders purchased 104,753 shares and sold 187,783 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $380.37, which represents a decrease of 4.81%. This stock exhibits minimal daily fluctuations, translating to lower risk. A buy signal was detected from a pivot bottom identified three days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? While Microsoft shows positive signals, it falls short of being a strong buy candidate. It is currently recommended to hold or accumulate shares in this position until further developments unfold. Our analysis indicates that the current price of Microsoft stock is undervalued based on recent volatility and market movements. Looking ahead to trading on Thursday, April 25th, our projections suggest Microsoft will open up at $0.373 and start trading at $4.43. Trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It is advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices.
By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment actions. Share your thoughts on our current view of the stock. What is your target price? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and engage in the comments below. Wishing you success in your trading endeavors. Have a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.